I'd like to give a thank you to the WD-40 company for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to Owl Farms Work. I just got done doing some custom mowing. Now Travis and I are going to go down to his place and pound a couple posts in. So in the first cow pasture, which is right above the buildings, um, at the end of the lane there are a couple posts that have rotted off and we have to go back and put them back in because the cows, if they really wanted to, could get out into the field. So we need to pound those posts in, put in some braces, um, it's the corner post and then the two brace posts and then we need to rig string back up all the wires and basically just get it to be a working fence again. Uh, he said there's a couple uh, gates that he'd like to hang as well. Uh, over time they just fall off from being used or if they've been getting hit by cows quite a bit and if the cows go through a certain spot a lot they'll rub up against them and over time they can shake the hinges loose. Um, then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down and pull off the rotted off posts that are pulling over the fence in the first cow pasture and uh, we're going to pound some new posts in. So it's been not even 20 years since some of, the, some of those posts have been put in and um, it's come time to change them out because they're all rotting off and they're pulling the fence down with them. Now the reason that we use wood posts is because they go down deep enough in the ground where you shouldn't have frost heaving. So in the winter months the freezing of the water in the soil will push things out above the frost line which depending on how cold it gets and how long it's it is can vary so we'd like to see you know maybe putting them down at least two feet into the ground and uh, that gets them below where it freezes so you won't have any of the heaving action on the fence posts like you do with the stakes because a lot of times the stakes aren't deep enough so we need to go down take the wire stretchers with us so this is our wire stretchers, a couple years old, and uh, it's getting to the point now where it's getting pretty locked up. And uh, since we store this either in the corn crib or the shed, it's not like we have a nice sealed off shop to put it in where it's not gonna be collecting dust. So what we're gonna be using uh, to keep this thing nice and lubed up, uh, right now it's just kinda hard to use to get these things to slide. And uh, we're gonna take some WD-40 Specialist Dry Lube with PTFE and give this a good spray down. So this will actually keep the dust away from it. And uh, it's good for things like this where you don't wanna be using oil because if we were to dunk this thing in oil or spray it down with lubricants that are more oily, what you'll get is a, when you're using it, you'll, your hands will be covered in oil and that's not really something that you, you really want to be dealing with when you're working on fences. So let's go ahead and give this a good spray down and uh, that way she's good and ready to be used. Hopefully we can spray some of those joints and then it can loosen some of them up. Now I'm spraying the track as well because this dry lube will help this slide along the track. Just giving the whole thing a nice good spray down. Use the straw to get in some of them cracks. Now this has plenty of time to dry. <laughs> that slides so much better on there. I should have done it before and after. This will have plenty of time to dry. What do you say we hop in the truck and uh, go over to the farm and start building some fence? Whee! <laughs> Last night he took the bobcat down, smoothed everything off so we can go down there today and pound posts to get the fence back in so that he can let the cows back into the first cow pasture down there. Down there. And um, we just got the 4020 filled up. We're about to head down and start pounding posts. We basically just loaded up all the creosote wood posts that we had. Um, we're gonna go down and fix that fence and then we're just gonna go around and start looking for fence posts that need replacing. Uh, even posts that we just replaced 10 years ago are starting to go bad. 
Um, I don't know whether it's just the quality of wood posts that we're getting or what. Uh, Travis said that he heard that they're going to stop making creosote wood posts because it's bad for the environment. And um, it's just kind of weird because what are we going to be able to put into the ground to replace them? Everything's just going to rot away and f probably farmers are going to end up um, treating them themselves with oil like the, like the good old days. And that's not exactly f environmentally friendly either. So. Um, we'll see. I uh, said that last next year is the last year where you could buy creosote wood posts. So uh, I'm personally thinking about going up and buying a bundle just so I have them out there because even the ten the creosote wood posts that we put in ten years ago are going bad down at his place, and that's just kind of discouraging. But it is what it is. So let's fire the 4020 back up and head down to British, get these posts put in. on this road has been nuts all summer long. The solar project going in next year, I don't imagine it's going to get any better. So uh, tilt the top towards the right. Come on, muscles. Yeah, right. The bar. Hey, you actually moved it. That's fine. With the amount of abuse we're gonna put on it. Hey, you did bend it. There. The amount of abuse we're gonna put on it, it's it's fine. So you're a self-acclaimed genius. What's a brace for? It's to brace the post up. It's in the name, brace. So what you do is this guy, which you got to be careful how you say this because online there's many different ways of doing this right or wrong, depending on who you are. Um, but the brace post goes down, or the brace goes down to another post, and you got to watch so your post goes from the bottom of the support post up to the corner post because what's going to happen is we're going to put in a sane, a sane or insane. <laughs> I need more caffeine. Mm, I already had my two shots. Two shots of espresso. Yep. Um, but what you do is when you have all your wires attached to this post, all the pressure of the wires are pulling on this guy. And if you don't have something to support it, then it might look good and pretty for a year or two, but eventually time takes its toll and It'll start it's gonna start one. giving. So. The brace post is going to give us easily another month or two before it starts doing that. But after we do, after we put in another post over here, we'll also run a wire from the top of the support post over to this one, to the bottom of this one, just to kind of make an X. So then both posts are supported a bit. A bit. Not a lot, but a bit. Couldn't get good enough bite. Mm. I'm have to go away from the post a little bit. Okay, so you got to make sure that the posts are somewhat straight with the rest of the fence because this is more of a salvage operation. Here's the problem, the stakes go <laughs> to the right. Your right or my right? My right. 
More. More. Come back towards you. pretty good I'd say but uh, he wants to go around this pasture here and replace a couple of the posts that are broken off and uh, we've got a bunch in the back of the truck so might as well put them to good use pushing on the fence line, snow, over time erosion, pushing the fence over the wood posts that we put along this stretch are the saving grace of the fence. Pretty much the only thing holding this fence up is the stakes over time have just been pushed right over. Blew a little oil on the, on the floor of the tractor. I kind of missed the old one that we used to have that went on the for front of a uh, old 4020 that Grandpa had. It's a lot more maneuverable. You can stick the front end of the tractor in wherever you need it to be. This one is just a little bit more clunky to get around. It's the exact same post mounter. Just has a three point mount instead of a uh, front mount. Under the railroad tracks. So I did some custom mowing for the Potosi Township and I figured I'd just come out here and show you guys what it looks like, cause why not? I didn't really film anything of this cause I was just focused on getting the job done. I'd say it looks a lot better. The brush on both sides was right up to the road. The 
point is a neat little peninsula that jumps out into the middle of the Mississippi River. So it's kind of neat to come out here. I enjoy coming out like after dark, especially when the moon's coming up and uh, it lights up the whole river valley. It's raining now, so the sights aren't the best, but it's pretty neat out here because you get a good, pretty good view. And there it is, the promised land, also known as Iowa. So we got that corner built down at Travis's place and uh, the cows are now not able to get into the field anymore. Um, if they really wanted to, they could, but now it's just kind of like an extra layer of protection actually having a fence that does its job. <laughs> so I figured I'd come down here. Uh, things are getting kind of slow today now because it's raining. But in one of the big storms that we got this year, there was a tree here that got blown over. And what you're looking at is what's left of the root system. The tree actually fell that way. It was a pretty strong storm. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but it was kind of cool that it uprooted all those rocks. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just figured I'd bring you guys down here and uh, show you the work that I did. Um, pretty proud of it. It's nice coming down here and seeing all the, like how far I could go out. The river is actually so low right now that I could keep going out in a couple of those spots, but they just wanted me to do one path out and I tried to stick to that but there were a couple spots where I went a little bit hog wild and pushed out a little bit to kind of open up the view a little bit I think it worked you can actually see out into the river bottom anyway that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching guys be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Snapchat all how farms work and with that I'll see you next time